Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Meniere's Disease Warrior. How y'all doing? Um, I'm feeling great as far as vertigo and Meniere's. Just the normal, no vertigo, just the normal uh, tinnitus and deafness and things like that. But I wanted to talk about balance. Because it's something that's not really talked about a lot. And, I mean, people ask questions about it, but people more ask about what your symptoms are, which this, what's that. And a lot of times when they say symptoms, people don't realize that it, it does affect your balance. <laughs> so yesterday I had an accident. Um, you know, I, I decided I was going to go to a spot I haven't gone to in, before. And I got, I've been very overconfident over the last week because I've been feeling so good. So I've got very overconfident. And I was like, I can go fish there because I know this huge bass. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not even going to tell you what I saw, but I saw the biggest smallmouth swimming that I ever saw in my life. Um, but what happened is while I was walking there, and it wasn't too far of a walk, okay? It was literally, I could still see my car and I could see water from where I was. So it was, I mean, it wasn't that far. It was just as far as anything else. It is a little difficult terrain. And what happened was I went and stepped with my right foot um, and I came down on an edge of a crevice on my toes and my foot went like this and my calf muscle and knee like kind of hyperextended but it pulled the calf muscle it tore it um so yeah now i'm on crutches for a week or two um if it doesn't feel better after that then um we get to look into options on what else to do but the thing is is that because I got overconfident, I forgot about my balance issues. Okay? Yeah, my balance is okay. I mean, I'm I'm not about to put a football helmet on shoulder pads and try out for the Patriots. Um, but it's okay. But the thing is, is that my balance, you know, I wasn't even looking down to see if this or that. I just felt boom, 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 boom. And it only took a second. For that to everything to happen, that my foot went in a, in a crevice and I lost my balance a little bit. Luckily, I didn't fall. Okay, that's the, the main thing is I didn't fall. But I could have. I could have. I was able to maintain my balance a little better, a little bit better than I normally would have been. But what's the thing is, I ripped my muscle, so I get hurt. And if I didn't have some sort of better balance than normal, than my, my normal balance was um, with Meniere's disease from doing the vestibular therapy. That's what we talk about, do vestibular therapy, do that therapy, because that's what they're working on is your balance. And if I didn't do any of that, I would have fell and probably hurt myself more because balance is extremely important. Um, you know, it's not just it, it, people with Meniere's disease, any vestibular it, disorder has balance problems. Like we lose our balance. Even if we're not dizzy, even if we're not having vertigo, we lose our balance. So, yeah, if you if you need... if I recommend vestibular therapy for anybody because I'm glad I, I did do all that. And even just recently, a year ago, did um, the one for my eyes. So when I look over here uh, and I turn my head here, I'm not seeing over there anymore. My eyes are now coincide with my head. Um, with my head movements. So, yeah, and so that's why I recommend, you know, vestibular therapy for anybody because, for anybody with vestibular disorders, because I really could have hurt myself if I didn't have enough balance to, to, to stop myself from hitting the ground, you know, by moving my left leg over and regaining again, I seriously, they would have been, I would have been calling 911, they would have been pulling me out of there with, from, from an ambulance. So, yeah, balance is important. And it's also important that we make awareness of balance. Now, coming up in September um, is Balance Awareness Week. And you're going to see more from me about that. Um, about that. But this is our time to shine. It's our time to make um, balance of uh, vestibular... Uh, invisible diseases visible. Okay. Um, vertigo... 
I mean, not vertigo, um, you know, Meniere's disease, any vestibular disorder, it's time to make it visible. It's time to make people aware that we have balance issues. And even I think some people who have Meniere's or, or these things kind of take balance for granted. And especially when you're feeling good, because I did. I did, wasn't even paying attention to anything. I was just like having fun and, you know, enjoying myself. And the next thing you know, I'm hobbling. Out the, I'm hobbling out the woods. And, and, and literally by the time I got home, um, I couldn't even put pressure. It felt fine while I was there. Felt okay. I mean, a little painful, not nothing, not you know, a little twingy. But by the time I got home, I couldn't put down. I couldn't even put my foot. I couldn't put my leg down. I couldn't put any weight on it at all. So that's why I went to the doctors. But you know, you know, don't take it for granted. Don't be a Dave, okay? And anyways, don't be a Dave. Okay, and this happens to me my whole life. I get overconfident in something, and the next thing I know, um, I'm on crutches. So, <laughs> um, yeah, take care of yourself. It's really kind of a hard video to do um, because it's just a, me telling you, is, you know, don't take your balance for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Because, um, like, look at today. Today was a good day. And I'm stuck in a house because of my overconfidence of because I was been feeling so good for the last few weeks. So on that note, hey guys, have a spin free weekend. Have a spin free, um, a spin free weekend, a balance, a great balance week. And and remember, if your doctor suggests vestibular therapy, do it. Do it. I'm really glad I did because I think it would. Like I said before, I think I would have been a little would have been a lot worse if I didn't do it. If I didn't do all that vestibular therapy that I did like three times, um, and my eyes too, I think I would have been worse. Worse. I would think I would have been injured worse. So on that note, hey guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Better days are coming.